U.S. House members debating spending bills to keep the lights on in Washington. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Kiana Burks in for Darren. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says he needs more time to pass the 12 spending bills needed to fund the government. So he's pushing for a short-term continuing resolution that would temporarily avoid a government shutdown. Meanwhile, the Senate is working on its own continuing resolution, which has broad bipartisan support to keep the government open for the next six weeks at current spending levels. So what kind of effect does a looming government shutdown have on us here at home in Vermont? And what's going to be done to get flood victims the support they need before winter? Our Calvin Cutler is following the money and joins us live from our Montpelier Bureau. Calvin, what are leaders telling you? Yeah, good evening, Kiana and Kat. They say that FEMA workers will still be able to work here in Vermont and deliver immediate aid to flood victims. But the longer that a potential government shutdown drags on, it could have an effect on some state programs. Kyle Richardson bought his first home in Barrie seven months ago. His whole neighborhood was slammed by this summer's floods. $178,000 worth of damage just for me. And that is not including outside. Three months on, he's still waiting on most of his insurance money, which didn't cover any of his personal belongings. We lost everything. I mean, there was nothing salvageable in this house. I had four feet in my kitchen and my living room. Um, everything was gone. FEMA paid out about $5,000. Approaching three months since the floods, he's still mucking out his garage and trying to find a way to replace his boiler. Things cost money and money's just not here. The fall foliage is turning and the weather is getting colder. Vermont is scrambling to get people hooked up to heat or get them into temporary housing. Just shy of 50 families will be moving into FEMA trailers like these. Here's an example of one of the units that will be placed at the country club in Montpelier. It comes with furniture, a kitchen, and this unit specifically has two bedrooms. Fully equipped with electric heat, running water, utilities, and more. Nearly $20 million in FEMA cash has been paid out to flood victims. But in anticipation of the federal spigot being shut off, the Scott administration is ordering all state agencies to draw down all the federal funds they can. But unlike past government shutdowns, Vermont has $2 billion cash on hand. We have a decent cushion, um, but as the weeks go by, and particularly as the months go by, uh, it would become challenging for us to operate. Um, we don't anticipate that to be the issue, but you never know. Leaders add tallying long-term damage will continue, and that money for it will most likely not be delayed. But back in Barrie, Richardson is thankful for his family and community for helping him, but he worries those without similar support are being left behind. If you don't have a supportive family such as I did, or any means, you have, you're, you're lost. Now, meanwhile, the state is appealing to the federal government for more help as well. Governor Phil Scott today submitted a disaster declaration to President Biden for infrastructure uh, needs in Addison and Rutland counties uh, from storms that happened back on August 3rd to the 5th. No word yet on when a decision will come down on that application. For now, reporting live in Montpelier, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News. Calvin, thank you.